I just made about everybody on the planet uncomfortable. What brings you down here, baby boy? Uh, could you not call me that, please? Wait, wait, don't tell me. You said ass, right? And I'm like, oh, Christ, is that what I'm known for now? I'm the ass kid? What a reputation. So right off the bat, I get suspended from school for a day. But not only that, I also have to go down to the lunchroom and help clean up. So there I was. Got a goddamn hairnet on. I'm pushing a garbage can around. Whoa, why is Tyler dressed up like a lesbian? I don't know, that's weird. Are you finished with your tater tots? Allow me. I have a foul mouth, and this is my penance. Now, it's worth noting that this suspension wasn't a normal suspension. It was a little bit worse. I didn't get to stay home at school the next day and watch Young and the Restless with my mom on TV. No, instead I had to go to a church that was down the street from my school and sit in the basement all day with a police officer. And it wasn't just me, there were a bunch of other derelicts there. Just a bunch of psychopaths all crammed into a room. They all got like dirt mustaches and eye patches and shit. So they make you sit there all day and they force you to do these behavioral worksheets. They ask you pretty simple questions like, Little Timmy is being bullied in class. What should Little Timmy do about that? A, tell the teacher, or B, set the coat room on fire. And I got this weird kid the whole time sitting next to me trying to talk to me. Hey, hey you, I never saw seen you here before. What did you do? Uh, I told somebody to stop staring at my donkey. My, my ass, I mean. My ass. What, uh, what about you? Oh, I just filled my locker with a bunch of dead puppies. Anyways, hey, what did you get for question number one? I was thinking it's A, but, uh, all these voices in my head keep telling me it's B. I'm like, you know what? I don't need to make any friends here. I have enough friends in life. I'm gonna stop talking to people. So I sat there and did my worksheet, and I turned it in. And you know what they did? They gave me another one. Holy hell, how many of these do I gotta do? Enough to fix your brain! Brain. Okay, well, I think I got a pretty normal brain, all right? I'm not like Jeffrey Dahmer over here, starting a puppy holocaust in his locker. This was one of the longest goddamn days of my life. I just sat there all day, stared at the clock, listening to the psycho stick next to me mumble to himself. Even the cop over there is uncomfortable. He's got, like, his gun out on the desk, just so everybody can see it. Finally, it's 3.15. We're allowed to leave. I'm overjoyed. Oh, yeah, we get to leave? I don't have to talk to a parole officer or anything? I'm out of here? Oh, sweet. I show up to my art class the next day, and I am on my best behavior. Behavior. I'm not going back to jail, goddammit. I'm over there talking like an English gentleman from here on out. I beg your pardon, Kayla, but if you could avert your eyes from the crevice of my rump, I would just be overjoyous for your patronage. Um, what are you talking about? It means I'd appreciate it if you'd stop staring at my ass crack, okay? Excuse me! Oh, goddammit! Oh.